Hello and welcome to the Art Gallery of Northumberland. Today, we are going to be taking a look into one of our art to go kits and test out our super fun spaghetti self-portrait activity. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at what this art kit contains. Inside this kit, there is a printout listing all the materials you'll find, as well as some instructions. You'll notice that there are not one, not two, but three different projects in this single kit. So there is some modeling clay for a sculpture project, some black bookmarks, and a wood scratch stick for an abstract bookmark project. Then, for our self-portrait, there's a water-soluble graphite stick and pastels, some paint brushes, and watercolor paper. In addition to these kit materials, you'll also need a glass of clean water. So to get started, we are going to be using our watercolor paper and this special graphite pencil. We are going to be drawing a self-portrait, but it has a bit of a twist. Instead of carefully sketching our features with light pencil marks, we are going to draw it using one long line, as if our portrait is made out of a single piece of spaghetti. This means that you can't lift your pencil off of the paper while you're drawing. Try to use the whole page. This will make it easier to add in details like your eyes, your nose, mouth, or ears. No one's spaghetti portrait will look perfectly like them, so just focus on having fun with it. If you do accidentally lift your pencil, just put it back down where your line ended. Once you're done drawing your portrait, you'll notice that that single line made a bunch of little shapes. So what we are going to do is take our watercolor pastels and color into these shapes. You'll notice that you only have three colors, so try to use them in super fun and creative ways. Maybe you'll have orange colored eyes or purple hair in your portrait. Now that our portrait is colored in, we can move on to our last step. Get yourself a cup of clean water and your paint brushes. We are going to use the water to paint over our lines and colors. The waters will make the pastels and graphite melt into paint. Take your time and blend the colors together first. As you're painting with the pastel colors, try not to touch the graphite with too much water. Once you are done with all the colored parts, leave them to dry for a little bit. And once it's dry, then go over the graphite with the small paintbrush and a bit of water to really make the lines pop. Once you're happy with it, leave it to dry completely. Then voila, your spaghetti self-portrait is all done. I hope you enjoyed this project. We would love to see all of your artworks, so feel free to tag us on Instagram or Facebook. So we'll see you later and happy making.